Welcome. All right, so in this case, I have sine of theta equals negative 1 half. And what I want to do is evaluate um, for my angle when the sine function is equal to negative 1 half. Now, remember, when we have a point on the unit circle, we know that the sine of an angle is equal to the y-coordinate. So therefore, I need to look at where on the unit circle is my y-coordinate equal to negative 1 half. Well, in this first quadrant, we know everything is going to be positive. So that's not really going to help us out. Um, however, we can look at it and we notice, all right, well, here is the only case at this angle when my y-coordinate is equal to 1 half. So therefore, when would, y, when would this coordinate be equal to negative 1 half? Well, let's go back. Let's draw a different unit circle. All right, so if I know and this angle when the y-coordinate is 1 half is at pi 6. So therefore, um, square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Now, for the y-coordinate to be negative, that means my y-coordinate has to be in the third and the fourth quadrant. So therefore, I need that angle. And then I can also reflect that over here to get at that angle. Because therefore, you could see that this would be square root of 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. And this angle would be negative square root of 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. Now, the fun and hard part is determining, well, what are these two angles? Because we can't use the negative angle. We can't say it's negative pi over 6. Even though that is correct, the question, the answer, the question is saying the angle has to be between 0 and 2 pi. So therefore, well, if this is pi over 6, that means this is going to be 6 pi over 6. And since this is a direct reflection, this is only an extra pi over 6 um, over 6 pi over 6. So therefore, this first angle is going to be 7 pi over 6. So therefore, we can say theta equals 7 pi over 6. And we know that the whole revolution, right, in terms of 6, if this is 6 pi over 6, then we know a whole revolution would be 12 pi over 6, which is equal to 2 pi, our constraint. Well, this is only pi over 6 short of being 12 pi over 6. So therefore, my other angle is going to be 11 pi over 6. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate um, for theta when given your value inside. Thanks.